Pregnancy is a very special time for any woman. It's a time of great joy, but also some fears. And that's why best-selling romance writer Danielle Steele and six friends decided to share their experiences. Watch. Danielle Steele has been called the first lady of contemporary fiction. Since 1977, she's written two dozen books, and many of them have become bestsellers. Books like To Love Again, A Perfect Stranger, and The Promise. She's earned a loyal following of 25 million fans. And now, Danielle has written her first nonfiction book. It's called Having a Baby, and she had help writing it from six of her friends. When we visited Danielle in 1982, we met her exercise group, women who got together during pregnancy looking for fitness, but who found friendship as well. The experience of sharing their feelings during pregnancy was so positive that the group decided to put it in writing. From infertility to sex to fear, they found that they had plenty to say, and the book, Having a Baby, was born. As soon as I became pregnant, I knew it. I mean, I could really tell because I felt lousy. I mean, I thought I'd feel ecstatic, and instead, I felt like wanting to retreat, almost as if I were going to go back to the womb. I felt great. I was never depressed. I just, I'd never gone that long without being depressed. <laughs> it was wonderful. We talk about sex, and some of us thought that sex was the most wonderful thing on earth. And some of us thought it was the most terrible thing on earth. For me, I thought, my God. I was seven months pregnant, and I weighed like 30 pounds more than I normally do. I mean, it was an effort just to turn over in bed. I thought, sex, that was the furthest thing from my mind, and it didn't that get me in this position to begin with? It's something that you can't talk about at cocktail parties. You don't want to talk about it over the dinner table with your husband, because after nine months of it, he's going to be very bored. But the nice part about coming to exercise is you could walk in and say, I gained two pounds, and everybody would say, Oh, two pounds, don't worry about it, or, you know, I did too, or um, they, they would share the experience with us all. The idea for the book really came about as an accident. Uh, we started an exercise group, and after each session, we ended up talking and chatting, and we got so much support from each other, and we enjoyed it so much that one day I just said to everybody, because I think in terms of books, why don't we do a book? And they agreed. I did the outline and everybody did their share of the work and it really worked out wonderfully. I think it was easy for everybody and it just felt right. Sorry. Give mommy a kiss. Ears kiss mommy. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. And here's the outcome of the exercise group. Seven babies were produced in addition to the book. All the women but Danielle were first-time authors and all still get together frequently for lunch or exercise, although Danielle admits she'd rather be on the sidelines. And all agree that being part of a group during pregnancy made a big difference. This was probably one of the nicest experiences of my life because I had six human beings that were going through the same thing that I was going through. And what this group meant to me was support, caring, authentic, you know, straightforward, you know, I'm behind you kind of a thing. And it's also meant that we've continued our friendship throughout the years. The group was invaluable. Um, if I had any doubts, any fears, fears I wouldn't even tell my own doctor, I could share with the group. And when their fears and doubts are weighed against their joys, all the women agree that motherhood is well worth it. It's the best thing I ever did to become a mom. And the second best thing was to have it with, seven, with six other women. That feeling that I went with them through the pregnancy and the growing fat and then trying to lose the weight after having the baby. I mean, that's another feat in itself. Um, that we'll watch our children grow old now, and that's going to be fun. The best thing I can say is that after the worst delivery I had, I said to my husband that day, if I ever want to do this again, beat me. And the next day I said, I am never going to do this again. And the third day I said, I don't think I'm ever going to do this again. And the day I left the hospital, I said, oh, she's so cute. Let's do it again. <laughs> Fans of Danielle's need not worry. She's managing to mix romance with motherhood just fine. In fact, this year, you can expect the delivery of a brand new novel.